Welcome to the Bentec 7X Cutting Guide. In this video, we will show you how to create different kinds of cuts using all the tools in the Assembly Cutting tab and show what functions these tools are used for. To illustrate these different kinds of cuts, I'll be using a tube chassis file created in Bentec. With the file open and the screen maximized, we can see all the different intersections of tubing where we can make different style cuts. Now click on the cutting tab to begin making cut profiles. To start, we will use the auto miter function to make a miter cut at the intersection of these two tubes. This will be a cut made with a saw and not a laser or plasma torch. As you can see, the outer diameter is fitted perfectly together as it is now a tube with a knifed edge. The other style of miter cutting will be used when cutting with a laser or plasma torch. With this method, we will click on the new cut button then check the mitered cut button only. Then click the first tube, followed by the second tube, and then the complete button. Both tubes will need to be cut to each other in this process, so repeat the steps only selecting the other tube first, then click complete. As you can see, this cut is considered normalized, which will be needed for most plasma cutters. To change a cut like this to one for use with a saw, you can simply check the outside diameter only checkbox and remake the cuts as seen here. For all normal cuts, simply leave all the checkboxes unchecked Click the New Cut button, followed by the tube that is to be cut, and then the tube that it will be cut to, and click the Complete button to finish. Afterward, you can find the cut located in the Cuts list and click the Details button to view the cutting wrapper and all the other information. Feel free to watch our advanced cutting tutorial to see the specifics on these cutting wrappers and how to use them. Checking the distance to perp of bend checkbox and performing a cut will reveal a cutting wrapper instructing to place the wrapper a certain distance from the perpendicular of the bend nearest the cut location. Checking the Hide Completed Features button and performing a cut will cause the tube that was selected for this cut to be unavailable for selection in future cuts. It is now considered a completed feature. Finally, checking the Ignore Tube Ends checkbox and performing a cut will cause the tubes intersecting the cut tube to act as if they extend forever. This is illustrated here. Use the cutting plane tool in order to create a place for a straight cut along a designated plane. Start by clicking the New button in the Cutting Plane section, then click on a pick point in the design where you intend to place the straight cut. Now we'll need to designate two additional points that will indicate the direction of the cut first and the angle of the cut second. After this, we can choose to resize the plane with the center point or rotate the plane with the two surrounding points. When you're satisfied with the orientation of the cutting plane, you will simply select the New Cut button then the tube you'd like to cut, followed by the cutting plane itself, and then the complete button. With a straight cut like this one with no angle to the cut, the cutting wrapper will look very simple but will offer the location of placement on the tube just the same. Now, if your design hasn't shown the cuts as if they've been completed, there's a simple button in your options menu to show the displayed cuts as if they are. 
To fix this, first open the Tools tab at the top of the screen and click on the Options menu. Then, select the Assembly tab. From here, simply check the Display Tubes is Cut checkbox and click the Save button, then the Close button to close the window. Changing this setting from the Options menu will only apply to new parts created after the fact, so to change the setting for the current part, you'll need to click the Settings button and apply the change from there. Make sure that the Display Tubes is Cut checkbox is checked, then click the Set Defaults button and the OK button to finish. Thank you for watching the Bentex 7X Cutting Guide. For more information on the cutting process and more, please contact us over the phone or email us at support at ben-tech.com.